Christian Placido, CPS Boxing News over here with Matthew Macklin. How is everything doing? I'm all right, man. I'm good. Looking Tell forward us. to the fights on Saturday. Awesome, awesome. Now you are a, you became a promoter, right? Manager, uh, really. I mean, manager, yeah. yeah. Tell us, you know, how do you see the fight uh, that's going to be Lomachenko versus Rigondeaux? Do you know what? I think, um, I think Rigondeaux looked really sharp at the media workout. You know, you can see how he's so good. But I think Lamachenko, you know, Rigondeaux's 37, he's been inactive. You know what I mean? I think Lamachenko's got good momentum in his career, he's been busy. Um, you know, I think he's still getting better. And, uh, you know, even, even being the bigger guy, I, yeah, I, I, I think Lamachenko wins the fight. I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of fight it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be a great fight or it's going to be like a, a boring fight. But it's going to be it's going to be high skilled. I don't know if it's going to be high action, but it's going to be high skilled. Yeah. Fight. So and what about the undercard that's going to be um, the other Christopher against the other opponent that he he's just actually they posted it you know like soon right now. Well, I'm, I'm hoping Michael Condon steals the show on the undercard. You know, I'm adding Michael. Uh, he's with MTK. I think he's gonna. Uh, it's his fifth fight. He's had four fights, four knockouts. He's co-feature. You know, he's a uh, his pro debut. He sold out the theatre at Manchester Square Garden, so he's gonna have huge support in there. And uh, that's the fight. I'm, I'm. I'm not really looking at too many other fights about that one. I'll. Have, I'll definitely keep an eye on Shakur Stevenson. I think somewhere down the line, him and Conlon can fight each other. But for me, you know, it's all about Michael. That's what I'm focusing on. Definitely have a look at Shakur, and then once Mick gets the win impressively and it's out the way. I'm going to enjoy the main event. Yeah, the whole event is, is you know, it has, a, you know, tremendous, you know, like fighters and all that. And definitely we're going to see, you know, the best of each and every person in this ring for tomorrow night. Actually, that's, um, for 2018, we're going to see probably one of the, you know, fights that they're mentioning a lot that there's going to be Wilder versus Anthony Joshua. How you see that fight? Do you think that Anthony, I mean, that Wilder has the power and the skills to beat up of defeat Anthony Joshua how you see that fight he definitely has the power he's the power to knock anyone out doesn't he Wilder was a massive puncher very explosive big hitter um, he showed in the first Stavern fight that he can box and he can do for 12 rounds but you know Anthony Joshua I think is more of a complete fighter you know he's, he's the bigger he's the better all round fighter uh, big big puncher also uh, better defence probably better boxing ability so look, it's, it's one of those fights I think that they're both massive punches it'd be very both very dangerous to the other guy uh, difficult one to predict but I'd, I'd probably go with Joshua oh, that was wonderful you know that's going to be a great event and definitely you know a lot of people that are waiting on it and also on for 2018 probably we're going to see again probably Triple G versus Canelo but there are a lot of you know controversial things that you know Right now, Canelo wants to fight whoever wins from David Lemieux against Billy Joe Sanders, one of them. And, you know, how do you see that fight? Do you think that fight is going to happen on May 5th? Or, yeah, I, or Canelo so. is going to wait until, like, Triple G gets a little bit more older? Maybe. I think it happens. If it doesn't happen next, I think it happens the one after. But I think um, it definitely could happen next. Um, I thought the first fight was a close fight. I thought, I thought Golovkin definitely won it. I thought he was hard, you know, hard done by not to get the win. Um, you know, having said that, you know, it was a good fight. Canelo definitely had definitely had his moments in the fight. It was a close fight, but I definitely thought Golovkin did enough to win it. Uh, having said that, I don't think it, Golovkin's the same fighter fight he was a few years ago. I think he's 35, 36 now. He's had a lot of fights. He's been very active the last few years. I think it's starting to take its toll. You know, uh, and I think Canelo being the younger, fresher guy, I'd probably favour Canelo in the rematch. Well, I did think Golovkin won the first one. Oh, definitely. What are your thoughts on the fight that actually, you know, like Mayweather and McGregor, they fought and now, you know, like a lot of criticizing from Oscar De La Hoya, it was like talking about May Mayweather and blah, blah, blah. And then literally he wants to challenge, you know, McGregor. What, what is it? Is it about business? Is it about boxing or to prove, you know, like he wants to come in back? How, how do you see that is going? Who knows? I mean, who you think knows? it's... Money, Just ego, business. boredom. You know, wants to wants to compete again. Struggling with retirement. I don't know what it could be. It could be a lot of things, couldn't it? But um, Oscar was a great fighter. He had an unbelievable career. Achieved everything. You know, one of the one of the greats of the modern era, wasn't he? And uh, it's just, you know, it's maybe this and that must be a huge come down to live normal life after that. So. I, uh, some people deal with it better than others. He's maybe struggling with it. Uh, 
Look, the McGregor Mayweather fight, I think it was a one-off. You know what I mean? It was a one-off situation. You know, we had all, you know, Mayweather, money Mayweather, then you had Conor McGregor in the suits and him talking money. And it caught the imagination. It worked once. Yeah. I don't think it works again. No, I guess. I mean, um, like I said, I mean, to me, I feel like it's all about business, but I don't know if it, like you said, you know, I don't know if it works. Only, yeah, no, nah, it, worked, it worked the once because it was a novelty, you know what I mean? And I think a lot of people bought into the fact that Conor McGregor could win the fight. But I think realistically nobody's going to expect Conor McGregor to beat any decent boxer at a boxing match just like they would beat him in an MMA fight you know what I mean it's a different skill set and uh, you know I think I think he, he, he did okay he did, he did well you know really he had a go he went out there fair play he had a go in that border don't look it's boxing boxing MMA is MMA MMA is two, two different t- yeah. type of worlds exactly. and two different type of exactly. you know styles and everything definitely yeah. exactly. um, for all the viewers and the ones that we love boxing and everything do you have a page that all you know they can follow your story what, what you do now I'm on Twitter at Matt Macklin or I'm on Instagram at Matt Macklin 82 so you want to get me on any of those really definitely it's good thanks thanks again you know for your time and I appreciate that so good luck and everything that you do all your business and you know we're wishing you the best and Merry Christmas by the way <laughs> thank you appreciate it